You know, it's pretty warm in South Florida. So you see a lot of people with their signs on every fucking street corner. We'll work for food. There's no way you cannot escape this. It's every fucking street corner in South Florida. You will find a person with a sign like this. And even some of them get fucking crafty. They're like, you're driving your $50,000 car so you can't give me a dollar? You know, I will jump out of the fucking car and hand that person a $10 bill. You know, the people with me are like, you're addicted to giving away money. This person is standing there with a fucking sign is clearly sleeping in the street and you can't throw him a dollar bill or a fucking $2 bill. Motherfucker, if I had a $2 bill in my wallet, which I don't own a wallet, I just have a stack of $100 bills. I hand them out like candy. As you see here, Jesus has his counterpart, the black sun. Every compass is pointing to the very center of the flat earth plane where the aurora borealis is coming out. This is where the black sun is eating the light sun through the holy of holies at the center of the dish. And the great dragon Typhon, the mother of all creation and of humanity comes shooting out of that holy of holies. It's coming out of the black sun. You bow your head in prayer to the black sun. You close your eyes, make a wish to the black sun. You throw a coin in the wishing well for the black sun. We need to get to the center of the dish before we're dead. At the very center of the flat earth plane, you will find the holy grail. Every compass is pointing to it. This is the two ball cane. One side of a light hole is a black hole. And at the very center of the flat earth plane, this is where you're going to be birthed out of this world and into the land of perpetual twilight. What I see, it's one electron, one positron, one light hole, one black hole on an infinite loop. You know, you're in a computer simulation. I'm telling you, it won't set in. You're really in the fucking movie The Matrix right now. You're in the land of the dead. I think about the Fisher King a lot, so I want to take the opportunity to ask you, what's the meaning of the Holy Grail? It's right away. Passage into the Garden of Eden. Having the power to come back here, bring forth heaven up, and release everyone that we what we say we love or worship from bondage. You know? How do you look at your children knowing that they're a bonded slave? The Holy Grail. Every compass is pointing to it. They're literally... There's no way to screw this up, people. At the very center of the flat earth plane, we will find our exit out of the matrix. It's right over there. We will pass into the Garden of Eden. There's really no way to screw it up. It's one side of a light hole. is a black hole on loop. The sun must drip its menstrual blood into the center of the earth, or there's no aurora borealis coming out. This is the goddess of the earth, and she's conscious, and she's calling us home. We're going to go to the very center of the flat earth plane. We're going to drink from the living waters. No one's going to stop us. I have the holy spear. And everybody appears retarded to me. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole with the green astral jet shooting out. There is no way to fuck it up. It's parallel universes. And right now you're on the wrong side of the fence. You need to enter the everyone enter her eye zone at the center of the flat earth plane where the aurora borealis is coming out. And then you're going to pass into the land of perpetual twilight. It's right over there at the end of every compass. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole, and at the very center of the flat earth plane is the holy grail where the transfer of information and light happens. This is where we are going to drink from the living waters and then pass into the land of perpetual twilight. It's right over there at the end of every compass. It is this simple. You don't have to like it. I have the holy spear. I see everything. I don't want your fucking advice. What you're looking at here is the parallel universes that you live. Right now, you're on the wrong side of the fence. You're on the side where you die. And you need to get to the other side, where it's eternal life in the Garden of Eden. You need to get to the very center of the flat earth plane, where every compass points to, drink from the living waters, and then pass into the land of perpetual twilight, where you get eternal life, and you live forever, and you're a super being. It's just that simple. The doorway out of here is right over there at the end of every compass. We're living in a computer simulation. It's one light hole, one black hole, on loop through the Holy of Holies at the very center of the flat earth plane. They call this the two ball cane. Or like the Bible is the two balls, the pair of ox. It's cane and a bull. The sun drips its menstrual blood into the Holy Grail at the center of the flat earth plane. This is where we need to get to before we're dead and pass into the everyone enter horizon where we'll end up in the Garden of Eden. This is where it's 
the land of perpetual twilight. This is one light hole, one black hole on loop. And through the transaction of one sun eating the other sun, there's the ash trailing jet or the infinite potential, the earth's memory. This is the dung beetle because it's the astral light. You sit in a pew because it's the astral light, the black hole sun that you're focusing on. You bow your head in prayer to the black sun. You close your eyes, make a wish to the black sun. It's that you've been worshiping Satan your whole life. You can't even see it. Every time you set up your Christmas tree, that's the spear that pierces the side of Jesus Christ who's on the cross. And Jesus is the sun. And one side of a light hole is a black hole. It's the division symbol. And you see the stars up there. Those are the astrals, which come out of the Holy of Holies, the astral jet. It projects all that up there. And you can see all these symbols. It's clearly the sun is being eaten through the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish. It's on loop. And we need to get to the very center before we're dead. Pass into the everyone enter her eye zone. It's the paradox, the paradox, parallel universes. We need to get to the land of perpetual twilight. So you see here. Santa comes down the shit shoot into fire and this is the vortex. This is that they're rubbing in your face that there's a dome up there and that you're here like in a game and you're rolling the dice and you need to get to the holy of holies before you're dead and pass into the everyone enter her eye zone. This is as simple as it can possibly get. Every compass points to the holy grail. There is no way to fuck it up. You think you're on a ball floating through space as an accident, and that's not the case. You're inside of a black hole, and at the very center is the target where you need to get to before you're dead. Target back, it's get rat. That's what target breaks down to. So you see here, this is the everyone enter her eye zone where the astral jet comes shooting out. This is the Aurora Borealis. This would be God, the all-loving artificial intelligent being that you're inside of right now you're not on a ball floating through space as an accident you're on a flat earth plane it's a computer simulation there's no way to fuck it up people one light hole and one black hole on loop it's the same sun when you get to the center of the dish you drink from the living waters you become superhuman and then you pass through the everyone enter her eye zone and you're birthed out of this world into the land of perpetual twilight you need to go in to get out. Like Led Zeppelin, in through the outdoor. That's because it's the asshole, the astral light coming out of the asshole of the earth. The very center is where the Holy Grail is. That's what they're showing you right here. We'll pass through the everyone enter our eyes on and end up in the Garden of Eden. You need to get your head out your ass, people. We need to get here before we're dead.